I think we're ready to glue the bellows. So I'm just going to file this, just rough it up, just so that it bonds better. I just scuffed it up a little bit, um, just so it's got something to bite onto. So this is um, this cement, or this, this is a uh, shoe goo, um, and it bonds to rubber and plastic. You want to make sure it can bond to the plastic as well. There's a lot that just bond rubber and leather and things like that, but they won't actually bond plastic. So this needs to, you know, not and not every glue can go on rubber because like this, it would just peel off um, in no time. This is too hard. This stays gooey and um, can stay bonded on here. So I'm gonna lift this up. I think this is gonna be messy. This stuff says that it's uh, it's supposed to bond in 24 hours. I just glanced, I haven't read the instructions. But this is hardening fast, like super fast. I can't believe it. So I think I'm just gonna leave that and I'm just gonna cut it off later. You can see it's clumping. That's good. I don't mind that. Thing I'm gonna do real quick here is I'm gonna actually throw this on here. I'm going to uh, we glued this little tiny switch earlier um, for the manual auto. I'm actually since it's in place, I'm actually gonna cut that off because it's just it's a uh, it sticks out a little bit and it seems to be rubbing on the side a tiny bit. So I'm just going to cut that off. I'm also going to bend these down just so that it's got a little more clearance from this um, uh, chipboard. It won't uh, hit here. Um, so I'm just going to bend those over. I'm going to put a little strip of tape on here. I'm going to wrap this, but I'm not going to use electrical tape. It's too heavy. I'm just going to use a couple of little strips of this fine tape. So, we are ready to put the mount on. So, I'm actually going to be putting the wires, I thought about having the wires out on the far side like I said, but I don't think that's a good idea because then you lose some of the clearance when this presses down, it was hitting the wires. So I'm gonna keep it so they're just on this kind of inside. So I'm gonna have to rotate the ring a little bit, the mount.
Before I glue it all, I'm gonna do a little test run. I'm just gonna put this circuit board in, uh, and do a couple shots, move it around and see how it works. And then if it's good, I like where this is placed. I think it should work perfect. Um, and if it does, then we're ready to glue it. Okay, you guys are gonna love this. Okay, so I just ran some tests before I glue it, and I can get tilted. See, I knew I could get infinity. I can actually get further than infinity. The right there is past infinity, so that's useless. But um, I knew, okay, so what I was wondering was though, uh, can I get tilted infinity focus? I can get it all the way to infinity focus and still shift uh, or tilt stuff off. So I'm so happy about that. This is working great. Um, it might even be past infinity focus. We're ready to glue it. I think we're good to go. All right, let's glue her up. So this is right here is where the um, that little red tab goes um, to know where our lens locks into. So I'm going to puncture a hole there just so I know. So if you want to remember, it's just above that pin where the lens locks into. It's just above it. I can see my hole, but it's not very clear. So I'm just going to goober this. Okay, so there it is, nice and goobered. Uh, the nice thing about this glue is I can just, when it starts to solidify, I can just roll it off where I don't want it and then let it dry. Um, I'm going to put a zap strap on this as well. One thing I've noticed is just moving this up and down. Um, the chipboard, you know how the, the boards have, on the edges, uh, I think they're made out of fiberglass, so the edges aren't smooth. And I feel like it's kind of catching a little bit, so I think if I was to do it again, I would probably just take some glue like this and run a bead of it around the edge just to smoothen the edge of it. Um, and then uh, another thing I thought about is when I was soldering uh, the wires onto this um, chip here, um, I soldered them, I don't know if you guys remember, but I was soldering them to the inside of it. Um, but then I ended up folding the tabs down and they couldn't fold completely flat. I don't know if that's really an issue, but I'd probably solder on the other side next time and fold them down. But other than that, I think that this thing is, I think this is really good. This is, this is, this is how I hoped it was gonna turn out. All right, so we're getting to the end. Um, I quickly threw it on the, can and, uh, the camera and uh, everything was working good. Everything tested fine. Um, so we're just going to clean the elements a bit here. I don't have any dust, so I'm super happy about that. And, um, I was playing with the aperture a little bit to make sure it was all functioning properly and there's not a tiny bit of dust yet. So you can see it there. It cleaned up real nice around here. Most of that glue just kind of pulled out. Um, really easily with a screwdriver or something and um, yeah I think it's awesome I think it worked out really well I'm super happy with this I did notice when I was just shooting I it is because like I've done it with medium format lenses before 
um, and you don't get vignetting, but uh, I do get a bit of vignetting, which is expected. Um, but that's I can clean that up in post. But um, I think that. I think that it's really good. It's actually a little bit less vignetting than I was even thinking it would have, but yeah, so I'm gonna cut that down and uh, we'll stick it on the body. All right, so there it is. Uh, I filed this down a little bit. Uh, I might file it some more, I'm not really sure. I think I like it where it is. Uh, it just touches a tiny bit when you put the lens on, but it's hardly touching at all. Um, I might be able to rotate this to a different side, but you know, I like it. I, and then I know where it goes on. Um, but it works really well. It slips on really nice. If it touch, if it, it's just touching just a tiny bit. Um, yeah, so there it is. There's the aperture working fully, and uh, yeah, and it's got the full tilt and not much of a shift, but it's definitely got tilt, so yeah. I'll show you up close. There she be. Ooh, that's cool. I like this. This is neat. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, if you guys want to see more uh, weird projects that I'm doing, or just um, um, I'm just uh, repairing a lot of lenses and reviewing things, go to CanonFastReviews.com. Uh, it's C-A-N-N-O-N, two can two N's in Canon. Um, and uh, I'll probably post this up and do a whole bunch of uh, review shots and just see how it works. Um, so check it out, and I'll probably have all my shots up on the website so yeah hope you had fun hope this helped you guys i think this is great i like this a lot that's cool i'm so happy it worked out so yeah thanks for watching good luck bye